हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू शॉर्ट हैंड बैटल आई एम दिव्या एंड आई एम गोइंग टू डिक्टेट यू अ लीगल पैसेज ऑफ फाइव हंड्रेड वर्ड्स एट द स्पीड ऑफ वन हंड्रेड फाइव वर्ड्स पर मिनट सो बी रेडी फॉर द डिक्टेशन थ्री टू वन एंड गो वाइल कंसिडरिंग द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन द हाई कोर्ट कंक्लूडेड दैट इन एज मच एज एन ऑर्डर ऑफ ejectment of the plaintiffs from the land in dispute under section 163 of the hp land revenue act 1953 was passed on 2nd april 1970 by the settlement officer the suit having been filed about 19 years after such order is barred by limitation after arriving at such conclusion on question number 1 the high court without going into the second question or adverting to the case of the plaintiffs by order dated 4 january 2000 allowed the second appeal set aside the judgments and decrees passed by the trial court as well as by the lower appellate court and dismissed the suit of the plaintiffs as being time barred challenging the said order the plaintiffs have filed the present appeal we have already extracted the first substantial question of law which relates to limitation the high court proceeded the said issue on the ground that though the order of ejectment of the plaintiffs from the land in dispute came to be passed by the settlement officer on 2nd april 1970 however the plaintiffs filed the suit number 41 of 1989 only on 23rd february 1989 before the senior sub judge mandi which was barred by limitation the high court in arriving at such a conclusion relied on section 163 of the act learned counsel for the respondents herein pointed out that the order said to have been passed on 2nd april 1970 by the settlement officer was not communicated to them it is also their claim that they were not allowed notice or afforded an opportunity to put forth their case before the passing of an order by the settlement officer in fact neither before the courts below nor below the high court the proceedings dated 2nd april 1970 was produced by the defendants in fact there is no specific plea in the written statement as to the limitation and no issue was framed by the trial court and no point was determined by the lower appellate court we verify the defense stated in the written statement issues framed by the trial court and the points determined by the lower appellate court there is no such plea and issue as to the limitation though it would be open to the parties to the suit to raise the plea of limitation before the high court as pointed out earlier the defendants have not taken any effort to place the alleged proceedings dated 2nd april 1970 of the settlement officer it is not clear how the high court arrived at a specific conclusion that the suit filed by the plaintiffs was barred by limitation even according to the defendants the entire records relating to the said proceedings were lost we have already referred to the fact that such issue was not raised and argued before the courts below on the other hand the plaintiffs concentrated that they are entitled to decree in respect of the suit property based on the continuous and 
uninterrupted possession for over a period of 40 years stopped.